Hello, welcome to the Thursday, May 7th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. The DA wrote a post today testing how unique malware typically is when it is being received or if the same exact piece of malware keeps getting reused. Now, in order to do this, the DA used VirusTotal and collected 8,000 something different samples from VirusTotal that did match the DA's uh, Yara rules and that were uploaded to VirusTotal over the last 18 months. Now, then he checked uh, how often was this exact file uploaded, what's the time difference between the first and the last time it was uploaded. And what did he found, and probably should be a huge surprise here, but 95% of malware was uploaded to VirusTotal only once, meaning it was unique malware submitted by only one entity. Now, he's comparing SHA hashes here. So unique means different SHA-256 hash in this case. So this doesn't mean these are targeted attacks because a lot of -of run-of-the-mill malware these days will create slightly modified versions of itself whenever it is being deployed. Now, he found a couple of outliers here as well and probably the most famous one, invoke mimicats. PS. Well, uh, that of course is the famous Mimikatz script that's often used uh, by pen testers and such. So no surprise that this has been uploaded the most and had the longest lifetime starting in November of 2015 and going all the way till April 4th. So that's probably when uh, Didier here collected his data. Lesson learned, well, uh, SHA checksums as sort of an indicator of compromise are kind of useless in the sense that you're unlikely going to find the same SHA hash in your environment that someone else reported. And Google appears to continue to have a hard time keeping malicious extensions out of the Google Chrome Web Store. As reported by the register, yet another set of malicious extensions has been identified in the Google Chrome store by researchers. And uh, these extensions, again, were stealing passwords from users by claiming to be extensions to help with crypto coin wallets and integrating them into the browser. For the most part, it's really up to the user uh, to figure out if an extension is valid or malicious. And Google has some systems to filter out some malicious extensions, but turns out that even after these researchers have reported these extensions as being malicious, some of them have still been able to be downloaded for a couple days after they had first been reported. Now, Google has made some announcements that they're aware of the problem and that they're going to fix it. I guess we'll have to see if a month from today we'll have another set of malicious extensions that got flagged by researchers. And talking about downloading random things off the internet, well, uh, websites are sometimes not better than users and Malwarebytes came across a pretty interesting attack that injected JavaScript in particular websites. The attack relied on the website downloading fav icons, the little images that you see at the top of the URL bar in most browsers. And instead of downloading the image to the server, these sites just included the image remotely via from the site directly. However, the site then swapped the image for JavaScript. So instead of inserting the image, the site actually inserted JavaScript that was then used to capture credit card data. This was a little bit of a tricky one to figure out. First of all, the site had a fairly benign name, myicons.com. The content apparently was just copied from another similar website, the actual icons that he offered and they only served the JavaScript to actual web servers that had the code installed. So if you as a user download an icon with your browser, the only thing you got was a valid image with nothing malicious. 
And apparently someone decided that today is World Password Day, so we have to have at least one password related story. Turns out, well, WebEx, uh, yet another video conferencing software, and of course, as such, quite popular these days, is being heavily abused for phishing. Abnormal Security has a little write-up about this uh, pretty tricky fish in the sense that it arrives as an email inviting you to a WebEx session. The URL being used is actually somewhat plausible, applogin.webex.com, and that's where then your WebEx credentials are getting harvested. That's it for today. Thanks again for listening. And for those of you who are sitting at home all days, being bored, well, why not use the time to write a review, hopefully a positive one about this podcast, or just let me know what to improve. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.